Wouldn't it be cool if we took the Nissan Altima and reimagined nearly everything in it? Introducing our most innovative Altima ever. Nissan, innovation that excites. Just to give you a sense of exactly where I am, I am right at the police court, and they have cordoned off the entire area surrounding this building, not letting any members of the public through, in part because of the crane. The crane is still dangling rather precariously from the top of the building. That is where the helicopter crashed, uh, made first impact, Michael. Now, in terms of what exactly happened, I spoke to eyewitnesses who tell me that around 8 a.m. in a thick, foggy London conditions, a helicopter uh, collided with that crane. It was seen traveling very, very fast. The collision ca causing a very big bang went spiraling down into the ground, and a big explosion ensued. Uh, and um, uh, amateur video of the scene shows a fiery wreckage strewn across the road. The London Fire Brigade saying that it had to rescue a man from a burning car. In total, two people were killed in the incident, including the pilot, around 13 injured. There's some damage around the surrounding areas as well. Authorities here saying that it is a miracle that this wasn't worse, Michael. Yeah, and Erin, uh, of course, there is an investigation. What, what, a, what would it be looking into specifically? Oh. So far, authorities have ruled out terrorism. They're saying that terrorism is not the cause of this helicopter crash. Uh, they are looking, no doubt, at the weather. It was a rather foggy morning. Uh, the prime minister coming out today saying that emergency services uh, are handling the, uh, the immediate investigation. Um, but inve other investigations, no doubt, will follow.